Hello, everyone. Hey, Chad, how we doing today? I'm ready to yap, as indicated by uh, that lovely gif that Stuff's put up on the couch. Thank you, Stuff. It's a good gif. <laughs> uh, how does our audio sound, uh, everyone in chat? Please let us know. You oh, you scared. might hear you might hear yourself for a bit Stop because. Scaring. You might hear yourself for a bit, because I didn't have my stream muted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can hear us both, that's great. Awesome, Ethan. Hello, Embryon, good to see you. Hello, everyone. Yeah, that's it. this is it, Nitra. It it's is? the last this qualifier. Is the <laughs> it is the last qualifier until... The last North American qualifier. I mean, yeah, but still, for North Americans, it's the last one, right? Mm -hmm. It's the one that matters. This is the one that matters the most. Because I, don't know. I mean, you could say that all of them matter the most, right? Because they're all equally weighted. That's true, but uh, this one can like change up the the lower standings a lot. For example, That's also true. right? Like, That's also true. Um, I believe, depending on how things turn out, three people might still get knocked out of the top eight instead of uh, three people that are joining today. You know, mm -hmm. this is why it's so now important to join me, all of them. Remind me, subs. Um, how do the points get distributed? Like, what? Uh, what rankings are going to get points in today's bracket? Top 5 will get points. First place will get 200 points, then 180 for second place, 150 for third, 120 for fourth, and 100 for both fifth placers. I see. Yeah, and considering those facts, Slayer, Null, and Genesis, who are currently... Uh, the ones occupying the last three spots in the top eight, they all have uh, like 150, 120 points, which means that anyone can still overtake them depending on how they do today. And since they're not here today, they have no means of defending their position. Time. I'm sure anyone who's watching Match Calls has seen this, but in the meantime, first up today, we're gonna have Dill Ninja versus uh, Snowy, and then after that, we'll be watching the match between me and uh, Accumulus Gaming, also known as Esonic, also known as the Eternal Sea Rank. Many people go to many different names in this server. It's hard to keep, <laughs> it's sometimes it's hard to keep track of them. Cause like their names just completely differ, differentiate from one another, right? Yeah, unless unless you follow a theme like Suppens here, Mr. Checkins himself. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> I love that one. I love that one. Dude. Yeah, it's, it's a so joke from trouble. Good. It's a joke from trouble. Yeah. He's full of them, I'll say it. <laughs> hey. They have music on, so I can put my chrome off. Oh, right on. <laughs> oh my good stuff, stuff, and you are streaming, and this this stream is coming in at like 180p. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> For some reason. Um, oh wait, I th I, I might know why that is. It's like it's functional for. Oh, there we go. It's yeah, just... that's because I had it on a window. It's pr uh, it's a window f uh, thing, and I actually uh, still had it on small. So. <laughs> got you. Got you. I was prepared to be like, well, as long as it looks nice for stream, it doesn't matter how <laughs> the quality is for me, yeah, as no. long as I can tell what's happening. Yeah, I, I, have a specific, um, I have a specific setup that I'm streaming towards you, and I have a specific thing that I'm streaming towards everyone else. It's, right the, the, it's, it it's the joy of studio mode as well. Mm. <laughs> anyway, that was our test lap for uh, Dill Ninja vs. Snowy. Um... I'm excited to see this match. I'm not gonna lie, subs. 
yeah. two of our more up and coming uh, players, but you know, I don't know, a little scrapping between the the lower ranks is always fun as well. I don't know. Uh, I personally don't know much about Snowy, but I faced Dill Ninja myself, and he has a lot of potential in him if he keeps playing. Of course, he was like out of it for a long period of time at some point, which did eventually result in. A sad D rank, and he's been up and on the grind to reprove himself to get that A rank back, right? Mm -hmm. And so far, he's doing very phenomenal. So I wonder he's if he can keep that going. Much. Yeah, he's been co coming out to like a ton of things. So like, we love to see the grind, right? Exactly. We love to see players committed to proving themselves, to saying, "Hey, I am worthy of that A rank. Let me show you." We're seeing Red Canyon as our first pick. This is interesting. What's metal Sonic texture you got there? <laughs> oh yeah, I I haven't changed my textures in like a year, maybe a year or two now. <laughs> like the only tex the only textures that I do change is like uh, it's purely based on like if there is a, a contest going out there or not. Well, regardless, we've got uh, Metal Sonic Advantage P versus uh, Monkey on Super. Super, hang, hang on. Yeah, what do you think about these picks ups? Uh, I like them both. Uh, Advantage P with the new TOP mechanic works on a lot more stages than just like the old ones that uh, that you used to see it on. And both like Fresh and Dill Ninja are like very high advocates of playing this gear. It's uh, it's very interesting like to me how they will will perform on these gears. Like I believe right now Dill Ninja actually has this like um, thing. Oh, that is a fancy hit. Snowy did not anticipate that. And like he's got nothing right now. He's you know, oh not a, a level. C rank though. Level up. There we go. Never mind. There was a C rank coming in from Dill Ninja though. Puts him very low. Like that whole area, he kind of lost time on that. Uh, and Snowy with the Super Hang On. Super Hang On is a very decent gear on this stage. Uh, it can work with both speed, power, and fly. Though fly after the skip uh, got banned, it's kind of got nerfed. So you will probably see a lot more speed and uh, power here. Well, that is also interesting. Uh, Dunja going for like the top in on low instead of like mid to high, even though this is a stage where he could technically have it on mid, I personally think. But he probably knows the gear better than I do because I actually don't play it. Oh, they're going to be neck and neck coming out of the QTE here. We might see. No, yeah. They're going to converge again after the rail. Yeah, but Dunja just still has the front. Only one in between. There's enough. There's enough air for Snowy to win this. There's enough air for Snowy to win this. If he gets the 50, Drift Dash here and Boost Chain, he should be able to overtake. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, nope, Dill's got it. Damn. I guess Metal Sonic is a little bit heavier than I expected, honestly. Uh, we've got a question in chat uh, mm -hmm. from Zamazarad. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but they're asking, is rubber banding a factor here? A um, little bit, little bit, yes. Uh, so Sonic Riders Tournament Edition uh, is we've made a mechanic called ma Magnetic Impulse. Um, basically, the premise of it is it's something that you know you gain Magnetic Impulse when you're a certain distance behind your opponent, and having Magnetic Impulse gives you more speed and air uh, in certain situations, especially like taking type short shortcuts, for example. Yep. Um, yeah. Is there anything you want to elaborate on there, Seps? Mm, not necessarily. The intricacies of MI or magnetic impulse, which usually is referred to as MI, uh, are a lot more complicated than we really need to know. All you really need to know it is technically a rubber banding mechanic. However, um, top level players, you will specifically see them uh, also utilize the other two catch up mechanics that we also have in the game. Which in which the. Are slipstream yeah, and... slipstream and turbulence. And Slipstream does exactly what Slipstream is, <laughs> and Turbulence, uh, yeah. You know what Turb is. <laughs> Rubber banding, but only if you're good at the game. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, that's true. You do have to... Oh my god, I just noticed your um, your texture on E10R. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no. I don't know if you... I, I have on every single robot, I have a number related to uh, cars. As you should, as yeah. you should. Anyways, uh, right now we see a quite equal matchup, both of them going for default actually. Which honestly is a very smart thing to do on Ice Factory, considering default doesn't, uh, doesn't ha like, is no, immune to ice. So, uh, yeah. 
Currently, though, Dill Ninja oh, is in. Ooh! Never oh, mind, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke too soon. No, but he is a lot wealthier right now, which is gonna help him in the long run. Uh, however, Snowy does have the better route. Oh, there's a hit, though! Keep swimming that A, keep swimming that A. Alright, good turbulence. But being level 1, that. Oh. Yeah. That does suck. It's gonna get that Magnab Gimpulse now, though. Right. Something else to note about why is he not going for the. He should have gone for the 30 rings there. That's that's crazy. He could have gotten up to level 3. Doesn't um, matter necessarily too much considering Dilnija got bottom path, which puts him behind I mean, I a guess, few seconds but again. Like, you really want to run ahead. They're gonna be at about the same spot here. And now he's level 3 as well. If he doesn't get hit, then it should be fine. Yeah, I don't know about this one. We could see some scrapping. They're just going to end up on separate paths again, though, because, like, you know, these players are playing separate uh, types, right? One is fly and one is power. Um, so by virtue of that, this is a stage where the fly types are in the fly shortcuts for a significant amount of it. So there's oh, no, Snowy got a bad jump. Oh, but the speech is, the speech is to, to catch up, though. Why are you going for the rings now? No, you didn't dare! <laughs> Ah, but he's still fine. They're neck and neck at this point. Yep. Alright, going into QT now. About the same. Speed shoes for Snowy. Also, I forgot to give a point to Dill Ninja, but it's fine. No, bad drift from Snowy. I think that means. That might just be game, yeah. Unless he takes this corner really badly, I think he's fine. No, he's fine. I think that's a 2-0 for Dill Ninja. Yep. I don't know what happened there with Snowy because his drift, the when he wanted to start drifting, he didn't drift. He seemed like he was gonna drift there, but maybe he second guessed himself and thought maybe this is too early, but I think it was fine. Mm. It's hard to know. How much buffer are they on? Uh not too much, right? Five, so Yeah, that's not something you can blame the connection for. <laughs> I mean you shouldn't blame the collection, uh, period. <laughs> yes, yes, rest assured, I agree with you there. However, we know that some players will blame the connection, regardless of if they should. That is completely fair. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, next up is me, so I'm gonna go... ping... Esonic. So what can you tell me about this Nitra player, Nitra? Oh god, I've never heard of them. <laughs> Who is she? Oh, you do know that she's a she, though. Oh, uh, yeah, no, and that's a rare thing in this No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Both Nitra and E-Sonic have been around for a long time. Nitra has been rising up the rank slowly, but then decreasing her playtime to help I me out. Been, to I have been a little bit, I've been a little bit rusty because I've been a little bit busy uh, taking a more administrative role <laughs> with hosting brackets and you know doing other like texture work and stuff um, for the project. But sorry, I think he's on like, um, well. I'll say this for myself. I got a solid 30 minutes of practice in this morning, and we'll see how that, how far that gets me. I hopped in the, like, a voice call this morning, and Subs was like, Nitra, join the bracket! And I was like, only if my painkillers kick in, because I woke up with a headache, and I was like, well, I can't race with a headache, but if it does go away, then I'll race. And it went away, so I'm racing. Oh, whoops, I... <laughs> Did you start without me? No, I oh. pinged Ethan without giving him a code because I'm silly and can't commentate while <laughs> messaging people. <laughs> Chat, I was literally just talking about how I can't play the game and like talk at the same time. I can't do like I can't I can't multitask, just full stop. Fun fact about me. Alright, I'm gonna go... what's it? I'm gonna go Devin. Um, Alright, good luck Nitro. Back. Thank you. Good luck to Esonic as well. Yeah, both of these uh, these players are, are old staple community members. Uh, if you've been around for a while, you you would know Nitro, you would also know Ethan or uh, Accumulus. Accumulus? I have no idea how to speak his name, to be honest. We always used to call him Esonic, but I know he doesn't want to go by that name anymore, so I'm trying to adjust myself to it. So bear with me, please, chat. 
Uh, should be fine. Alright, it looks like we can go into game. We'll see them do the standard test labs. Nitra sticking with a uh, cl classic old shadow. And uh, Oculimus is uh, taking the Sonic. Everyone has their own style in test labbing, which is always very unique to see. Uh, e E10F, or uh, E10,000F if you use full names. Always uses like Amy. I personally always use Knuckles and others to do random. It's whatever works for you as well, right? To uh, decide, hey, is this what I... Uh, if, is this what I want to warm up on? And then it's not necessarily a warm up, but most players do use it that way. No, but uh, Nitra is like uh, was part of the Knights of the Round Table in the Recipro Studio, so a lot of uh, her plays are probably gonna be based on uh, on that coaching style specifically. While well, Isonic, although being quite a legacy player, he is still C rank. This is why he also uh, ironically calls himself the Eternal C rank. Uh, we kind of have to see him wait what he uh, what he has cooked up in store. I've heard he has been practicing a bunch again, so. I've had a lot of stupid test laps, but that one is definitely one of them. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Always, it's also always interesting to see how people are going to approach bands as well. You only have one bandless player, one and two bands player too, and then there's like technically you, have techni you technically have two bands, but you can just pick the stage, right? But seeing like that we're going to not use, not play Illusion. Uh, Illusion, of course, a uh, tricky stage, especially for beginners, since it is one of the latter, uh, last stages. You can clearly usually see that um, People go more to are more catering, especially when they're new or lower ranked. You can see them go to old, uh, old habits, which is like Metal City Splash Canyon, which everyone used to play back in the day as well when they were kids. Like my throat is really dry, so excuse if I sometimes just drink some water. Digital Dimension, uh, a very tricky stage. Did uh, did have some changes in the latest patch. In terms of uh, skips that are being banned. However, Cannonball, although the skip being banned, still should be a really good uh, good pick. Um, we see E-Sonic uh, or Accumulus actually going for um, faster instead. It's kind of a mini case of high booster. Uh, interesting, I've never actually seen it here, to be honest. I, both these players not very rich, not very healthy in the rings right now. Um, probably want to look to to increase that count as, as soon as possible. All right, different pathing from uh, Accumulus. You're not a power type, buddy. Uh, it's probably not the best way to go power uh, power pad there. Uh, yeah, this is... I don't really know what to say necessarily. Uh, Nitro just dropping a tornado, not really necessary, but guess she thought, hey, I have enough rings, I can closely get to the level up. You probably want to keep going for the rings though. Nice Tornado's placement from Oculimus, trying to just make sure that Nitro doesn't do anything, but puts himself on a very risky edge, considering he doesn't have that much air himself. We'll level up here, Nitro is searching for that one singular ring, the one and only. Uh, maybe don't let Sauron know then. Uh, yeah, Nitro just has a really, really good lead. It's hard to come back from for Oculimus right now, considering he is level 2, barely any air right now, and he's not getting skips at all. Uh, this, this might already be like a 4 or 5 second gap. And Nitro, all Nitro has to do is just not make a singular mistake and should be fine. C rank coming out from Aquilimus is it's not pretty. It's not looking pretty. Nice uh, singular uh, real take. Nitra, come on! I want to see you do. You have the time. Ah uh, no, Nitra didn't go for the ramp skip. That ramp skip can save life, kids. Keep that in mind. And while Nitro just finished the race cleanly, uh, see a bit of pinballing going around for uh, Aquilimus. Uh, 
Definitely seems like he's not used to digital dimension. He keeps messing up where the rail is. Uh, although the rail is always at the same place, same uh, in the same laps, so should keep that in mind in the future. But even then, like uh, at least lap one was uh, quite a strong showing still. So there's no uh, there's no need to ring the alarms just yet. There's always more games. However, the first point will go cleanly to Nitrogen. I mean, if you pick the wrong character, then you should pause the game before the um, before the lap starts, like before the game officially starts, right? The first uh, electric barrier, because you have the time to switch out. Like in that walking section, right before you you start the game, so when the electric fence is still up, you can technically pause and uh, switch your switch your character. We're going to Egg Factory. We normally don't see this stage a lot, actually. Which, um, I mean, a lot of people do not like this stage because it's really make one mistake and you're quite possibly doomed kind of stage. Uh, but maybe that is exactly what uh, Aquamus needs. Going for Darkness, actually, instead of, uh, instead of Default. Darkness kind of on the same level as Default, but... Uh, has like one extra boost in the tank. And uh, a little bit more maneuverability considering they are skates. Oh, and Oculumus gets lamped. No, he hit the lamp. This might already spell doom because Egg Factory is not forgiving on early mistakes. Like Nitra is with a very strong lead already. I, I think Oculumus needs to completely rail dash that rail. He has the air for it anyways. Use the MI that you're gonna get, but there's no way of like catching up if you're not if you're not gonna use tech. If you're not gonna use specific tech like uh, JCBCs and uh, rail dashes, then there is no real chance of him coming back, sadly enough. Oh, and goes bottom path again as well. This, I mean, yeah, this is the egg factory effect, ladies and gentlemen. Nitro even ha Nitro right now has like all the time in the world to just cleanly play this get uh, match out. While while Ethan has to do every single thing, Aklimus has to do every single thing in his power to be able to catch up. It is not looking good. I don't even know how much of the how much of a gap this might be. Like it's like half a lap or something already. Like she's at the rail. Aklimus still needs the fan. Just a nice turn here for Nitra, and uh, that is game, game set and match. I think this is more than just five seconds. Yeah, this is about a 10 second gap. Alright, congratulations to Nitra. Really well done. And uh, back to the lab with you, Aculamus. Uh, <laughs> and back to the uh, lab. GG's. GG's to Accumulus Gaming. I appreciate him coming out today. I'll say it. <laughs> um, but yeah, GG's. Hey Silicona, good to see you. Yeah, nice, nice races, Nitro. Thank C you. Couldn't see any rust at all there. Ah, oh, shucks. I <laughs> don't think that's true. <laughs> yeah. uh, I do need to double check our Baya and the other person that he's playing. Yeah, they are currently playing, which means we'll. Because uh, I want to kind of do Jordo next. But yeah. considering Jordo is waiting on Bios match to finish, we'll do Silent and Leon first. Cool. Uh, Dylan and Fresh, uh, Fresh and you can play, but you can also join me for Silent Leon first, and then play your match with Jordo uh, when Jordo Bias is happening. That's oh, up okay. to you, though. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Which one of these do I want to see, Chad? I got to <laughs> cheer on my bro, Jordo. I got to cheer on Jordo. So I then... I'm gonna go my match with Fresh. Alright, that's cool. We'll do silent.
Silent versus Leon. This is some good music, by the way, Nitra. I, I'm glad you like it. This is the uh, Sonic. What's it? This is Sonic 3D Blast on the Saturn soundtrack. Is what I requested, and it's uh, it's a bop. I'm gonna say it. This is like strangely catching. I'm I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Actually, never really listened to this soundtrack before. Didn't even know the Saturn had like a different soundtrack. Yeah, it's really underappreciated in my humble opinion, but it's um, it's one of my favorites. I like to see why. I I have to say I think Rusty Rune is like my favorite, but also Puppet Panic is really good. So those are some standouts for me. I mean, I must say, I've not been paying attention to any of the names. <laughs> I'm just, been, I'm just I've just been vibing. Starting. I've just been vibing. Like most of the, uh, like most of the time, I just keep the music going. Um, even when like I switch out the Chrome sounds for the writer's music, right? When someone's playing a game, but meanwhile, I'm still vibing to the music and watching those, like, the games, and <laughs> and uh, <laughs> because I just have the music on. Otherwise, I need to keep like switching everything on and off all the time, which becomes a mess. Yeah, I got you. On the topic, chat, anyone uh, anyone in chat have any standout Sonic what the Sonic um, soundtracks in their humble opinions? Cause Subs asked me, hey Nitro, what, what Sonic music should I play today? And naturally, I was like, oh, 3D Blast on the Saturn, of course. Um, but I don't know, do any of y'all, are any of y'all appreciators of certain soundtracks, especially any niche ones? I, I hope we don't have any Chronicle fans <laughs> in the chat, but other than that. <laughs> Chronicle fans in the chat? No. No, you're just sitting in a voice chat with him. <laughs> I look, subs, I support you, and I will say that Chronicles introduced me to a lot of the um, what's it, the, the, the 3D Blast Saturn music, because like Chronicles remixes a bunch of 3D Blast music, um, which is bonkers, but that, that doesn't mean the quality is good. That's Man, I, I, say. <laughs> I, I like, I like Sonic Chronicles. Fair enough, fair enough. And I, I totally, absolutely did not abuse the, the cheese, uh, the cheese strategies. Oh, no, no, absolutely of not. not. Of course not. What do you think I am? You, um, what's, what's <laughs> the fucking name of the chow? You put Ferox on cheese so that you never have to do the complicated inputs and then you win every time. Absolutely. <laughs> My... um, one thing I will give Chronicles is, aside from the, like, compression, I do you think like the original compositions are really a bop you know all right virtual is completely right the favorite sonic ost is maximum impulse hey, let's go! absolutely impulse absolutely so if you haven't listened to maximum impulse yet get your ass to our youtube for Seven. what where where can where can viewers listen to maximum impulse what is maximum impulse tell us about it well, honestly, I only know where to find it on YouTube. So you can go to Riders Boulevard, that's our YouTube channel, and it will have a playlist there that's called Maximum Impulse. Maximum Impulse is a lot of remix soundtracks from uh, different uh, Sonic games, all together bundled up in one nice little playlist. This is also a lot of the songs that we use here within our game itself. So if you actually ever find like a track that is remixed within TE and you're like, oh, wait, which, uh, which one is that? Then go right ahead and find it on our YouTube. And yes, yes, Virtua, you are correct. We will be actually releasing Maximum Impulse on physical discs. I believe Protec is going to get a bunch of them. Uh, and I'm not going to make any promises, but I've told him to do it. But hopefully we can we will make it happen but he's probably gonna sign a bunch of them as well and you can get those at sonic expo in november oh dude i'm picking up a copy you know it 
because in Sonic Expo we will get our own booth besides the tournament and everything. And Protag will be, be will be there at the booth and everything. I'll be there. Uh, I'll Nitro, be there too. Nitro will be there I'll as well, and uh, <laughs> and many others will be there as well, right? Uh, I personally wouldn't be there, couldn't, can't be there, but then again, I also live in Europe, and I don't want to, you know, spend five hundred bucks for <laughs> five hundred bucks uh, one tri one way trip, by the way. So thousand bucks uh, f going back, you know. <laughs> Regardless, right, yes, no, physical. <laughs> there will be a physical copy, and I will force Protec to like sign them. Uh, if you are at Sonic Expo, I'll make it happen. You will make it happen personally. Anyway, well, I won't make it games. happen personally. <laughs> I've got my games versus Fresh, so I'm gonna dip for a little bit. Uh, best of luck to Silent and Leon. I'm sure they're gonna put on a great show. See you in a bit. Yeah, hey, good luck. Alright, Silent Eye versus Leon. Digital Dimension. I should get the chat out of the way. I should really start learning not that you have that open. <laughs> Digital Dimension. Both going Cannibal, but one going Power and the other going Speed. That's interesting. Honestly, I've never really looked at Power on this stage before, personally. Uh, but I can see it work. While uh, meanwhile, Silent Eye going with the age-old recipe of going speed cannonball, but choosing Shadow, just like Nitro before him. Um, of course, there is always a difference in playstyle considering your archetype, which uh, in Shadow's case is a combat archetype, but in, for example, Sonic's case it's a late booster, and Ai here is also a late booster. Uh, depends on playstyle. Usually, personally, I think late booster is better. Um, but there's, of course, different. I think Leon just skipped that. I think he just did the ramp skip. That's really amazing. I am very proud of him. Because I know in the past he struggled really a lot with that one. He is a little bit n on the cheaper side. No, you shouldn't go for the skip right now. Scienti getting the skip, though. The indecision from Leon actually costs him a lot of time. So has to be looking to catch back up. We'll get level up right here if he doesn't like move out of the way. Silent Eye going the normal middle routing into the veil. Doesn't have any MI of uh, the swords, of course. Takes a long route on that one. Can he get the skip? Doesn't go for the skip. Leon misses it, sadly, but he has a full tank. Could be almost in slipstream. Oh, actually, it's in slipstream range. Ah, oh, there he is again. Alright, both these players, of course, going for the skip here. No, Leon misses the top path. Can't go for the skip thanks to that. Of course, other versions of the skips are banned. And that gives Silent Eye the momentum currently to keep the lead. However, can the MI usage work in favor here? I mean, not if you don't pick anything up. Ramp skip can make the difference. Leon probably knows this himself as well. Oh, but he kept charging. No, yo, you shouldn't do that. Just press it once. But uh, with that, Silent Eye just cleanly takes it. A little bit of overtaking. No real hitting a lot. But uh, yeah, that, that's match one. Where's my OBS, guys? I'm, I swear I'm a professional. <laughs> All right, a few bands coming out. Garden is the only band that I actually have seen. Leon most likely isn't allowed to go to White Cave. Yeah, that's probably banned. Goes to Splash Canyon instead. Is that Air Tank? Is he unironically playing Air Tank? I want to see what is what he's cooking. A more standard pick coming out from Silent Eye, one that we've seen Fred on and Fahad. You. The two top contenders for North America currently uh, use historically good a lot. 
Uh, but Leon using air tank. That is that is very interesting. You have a lot of air, so start using it, I guess. Maybe you can like JCBC a lot more, and that's the that's the uh, thought process behind it. Bit of hoop dashing. Does have a very good lead right now. I mean, you have more in the tank, buddy. You could use more. Break off your turbulence. Silent Eye is catching up really fast, though. It's in slipstream range now. Oh, oh even gets the airbox. Oh, but misses the rail. Oh, fi gets it, but does miss the secret rail. Silent Eye making a lot of uncharacteristic mistakes right now, which might cost him the match. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be that guy that lost to air tank, you know? Oh, very clean U-turn there from Leon, actually. Very sharp. Honestly, he's playing on fire today. It's a good X-Rank there from Silent, but he's not taking the turbulence at all. Maybe that's a mistake on his part. Misses the secret row again, but does it matter? Leon also missed his path. Meaning that he doesn't have the air currently. Doesn't get the skip, so right now Silent actually overtakes. Is this the break that Silent needed? There's a lot more air. Oh, but he dashes into Leon's attack range. And Leon just hits him with the bright orb. Is this all Leon needs to just go away? Yes, it is. We're going to a third game. Leon takes it because Silent Eye just approached him wrongly. Oh, you hate to see it happen. You hate to see it happen. That's why we're going to look at it again. Never mind. My record I, I didn't record the replay in time, guys. I am so apparently sorry. But then again, we can see Leon win again. All right, we're going back. Going for a 1-1. That's amazing gameplay. I don't know. I've been playing... I'm a bit stunned, guys. Like, I've been playing this game for, what, two years now? And I've never seen Air Tank win. Well, n not, not like, ironically win, basically, right? Like, when it's an Air Tank ditto, of course you see Air Tank win, but... I've never seen Air Tank win against, like, a Meta Gear, like E-Rider is. This is amazing. Right, going to Dark Desert, actually. Omnipotence versus Omnipotence. Speed type versus Speed type, but Combat versus Trickster. That is interesting. And we see we see funny Sega lady. Hello, I'm back. Hi, we're going to a, a third game. It's omnipotence oh, versus it's speed omnipotence, speed omnipotence versus uh versus one another, but it's trickster versus combat right here. Uh, Miku versus uh Blaze. The most interesting thing that you've missed is uh Leon just won with air tank. On splash? Yes, on splash. <laughs> oh my god he did it! That fucker. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good on him. Alright, interesting hit. Oh! Does break it. Doesn't actually get hit himself, but uh, Leon's a little bit less uh, healthy. Never mind. Neither of them going for the fly hoop. You could technically go for fly hoop and chain combine uh, combine more and more... Um, more and more of these uh, power or these uh, different routes, right? That's that's the strength of omnipotence. Mm -hmm. What is it? You get more uh, speed when yeah. you're taking the shortcuts if you're using. Different if you things. rotate them out, yes. If you rotate them out, so if you go speed rail to power, for example, you get more out of it, or speed rail to air uh, to uh, air hoop, you get more out of it. But if you go from speed rail to speed rail, you actually get slower. So you don't want to like chain the same ones together. You want to make sure you rotate them out. Oh, the flatten, nice the flatten. From silent right there. I was talking about this just earlier today. You know, Miku, very good hit uh, from her level three. Very yeah. Good reason to play the character. I believe it's 150 frames. Mm -hmm. But that's just the top of my head. But that that hit might have just spelled doom for Leon at all in total. Yep. I feel like he should have actually gone for the air hoops here instead. Nice dodge though. Because if he goes for the air hoops right there, he can actually utilize his rail and then be faster. 
But going the exact same path his opponent is going is... Yeah, that just barely didn't do it. I, I feel like... Right. Bit slipstream, but... Uh, mm, yeah, but slipstream is not enough. Like, slipstream doesn't actually right, influence a, the way you go on, on type uh, on type shortcuts. Right? Going, going the fly hoops in the middle in Dark Desert is significantly faster in most scenarios. And... Additionally, then you you can go from fly to rail, and then this rail for Leon specifically, this rail would have been faster than for Silent, which could also catch him more. And this is why it's so important to rotate out those uh, those types. But he technically went from rail to rail, which slowed down his rail as well. Uh, but with that, like uh, Silent, I moves through for uh, with a two one. Still though, we saw Air Tank win, so the mental victory is definitely on Leon. Meanwhile, I'm quickly gonna try to kill a mosquito. There we go. Yep, no, got him. That's a win, guys. That's a win. We got him, boys! Yeah, we got him! Anyway. Wait, are we still waiting on Bea versus Red the Demon? No, should not be the case. Because uh, we put demon, we put demon ba into lower bracket due to not having their stuff set up. Oh no, that means that they're up against me next. <laughs> well, I'll give them some time to see if they can. Which means we up. go for Jordo Baya now. Okay. Uh, Baya is helping him set up, but um, if you could take over so that Baya can play. Uh yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Hey, thank you. I know you wanted to watch and commentate on Jordo, but we need to get, no, keep no, the bracket moving. That's good. I've, I've, I've got to, I've got, I am a TO. I've got to do my job. That's fine. The killer fish from San Diego. I know that bitch. It's my friend Jordo. Hi, Jordo. Do I want to understand the name? It's just a, based on like this YouTube video where it's like it, it's it's got the energy of like a dad making a meme <laughs> with like a camcorder. He's got like this fish, this fake fish in his hands, and a like, fake he's fish. The fish a fake fish, yeah. He's making the fish talk to the camera like, Oh my god, I'm the killer fish from San Diego! Oh, oh yeah. Puppet show, basically. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll be your killer fish for the evening. That's that's what it is. Thank you, Jordan. Nah, I'm putting killer fish now. Killer fish. Killer fish versus Baya. I'm putting killer... Nah, just kidding. Jordo. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is too enough, too too official of a bracket to to be clowning around like that. <laughs> we do a little comedy, but you're right. This is official. We can be officially silly though. That's of officially silly. Mm -hmm. As hey. opposed to unofficially silly. <laughs> I'm yeah. silly, but only in the official sense. 